Question Pimpeu or Anka Davis. What discussions has the Council General had with the Minister of Economy, Transport and North Wales regarding the impact of the expansion of direct shipping routes from Ireland to the EU on the Welsh economy? Uh, well, until December, uh, Welsh ports were the easiest route for traffic between Ireland uh, and main la mainland Europe. Uh, the new regulatory barriers resulting from the UK government's deal with the European Union uh, have changed that, and we are pressing the UK government to improve transit procedures uh, to restore the competitive uh, advantage uh, of Welsh ports. I welcome genuinely that constructive engagement by the Minister with UK counterparts, but you know, I've got to call a spade a spade here, Minister, those people who said that we would have after EU withdrawal frictionless trade that would allow these land routes across the UT UK to continue, were either too daft to realise what they were saying to the public in Wales and across Britain, or they were outright telling porky pies. Uh, and in fact, the UK bureaucracy that we currently have is exactly what Boris Johnson railed against previously when he uh, when he pointed his arrows at the European Union. So I wonder, Minister, uh, I see commercial operators out of Ireland now espousing the benefits of long-term diversion away from the land link across the UK and by going direct from Ireland to the EU. Will he push UK ministers to redress the damage that they have done and to make sure that this is as temporary as possible and that they get this trade going back through our ports in Wales? Well, that is a top priority for us uh, as a government. Um, you know, these, these friction, these um, barriers, if you like, to trade and to transit weren't just foreseeable, they were foreseen. Um, uh, now, what we want to make sure is uh, that the speed and convenience of routes through Wales uh, will start to attract Tories back um, as soon as possible. And we are certainly pressing the UK government in the way that he suggests to do everything possible to help traders navigate this new border and then to limit limit the you know economic impact that it's having um, and the minister for the economy as you will have uh, heard in earlier exchanges in the chamber today uh, has written to the secretary of state for transport yesterday to highlight our concerns most recently um, obviously we're particularly worried about um, the the fact that the um, uh, th those routes are costlier and take longer and you know that tells us of course that the land bridge remains uh you know w w the best option effectively and what we want to do is make sure that we are working with other governments to persuade the hauliers uh, of that and that involves uk government doing everything it can to minimize the practical implications of those checks and so on at the border